Okay, this is chapter 25, part 2, and what we're going to look at now is discontinuing a segment or a product. And a, a product, branch, territory, or other segment of a business may be generating losses. And it could be like in a grocery store where you've got the grocery store and the deli or the meat department or the fish department. Okay, so as a result, management may consider getting rid of that segment. Um, because that's how your financial reports will come. You'll have an income statement that will show just what each segment is doing. So discontinuing the product or segment usually eliminates all the products or the segment's variable costs, like direct material, direct labor, variable factory overhead. You know, by definition, those things would go away. Even um, sales commission that um, salespeople might earn. Okay, but the fixed costs like depreciation, insurance, and property taxes may not be eliminated. They might still be there. All right, because if you've got a building and you've got a big plant and say you get rid of something that operated in one piece of that plant, the rest of the building isn't going to, it isn't going to, it's not going to go away. All right, those costs still stay there. So it's possible for total company income to decrease rather than increase if an unprofitable product or segment is discontinued. Okay, that's the big the big um, message there. So here is income or loss by product. We've got Battle Creek Cereal Company, and this is a condensed income statement. And we, they have, Battle Creek would be Kellogg's, right? They have corn flakes and toasted oats and bran flakes, and there's the total company. And your eye immediately goes right down here to the bottom where you see the bran flakes are losing $11,000. $11, okay, these are probably in millions or billions. Um, so that's a net um, loss from operations, and everybody else is doing okay. So a manager's natural question would be, well, why don't we just get rid of brand flakes? What will that do? So here's the, what our differential analysis. First of all, if we've got the business and we continue brand flakes, they've got revenues of $100,000 and $11,000 loss. And that's what we had here, revenues of eleven or of $100,000 and an $11,000 loss. Okay. Now, if we discontinue them, if we get rid of brand flakes, the revenue and the variable costs are gone. But the fixed costs of $26,000 stay. Okay, so with brand flakes, we're losing 11000 and discontinuing brand flakes, we're losing 26000 And you know why? It's because we're losing this contribution margin right here. The 100000 minus 85000 would be a $15,000 contribution margin. Okay, so that's what we've lost, and that's why this loss is, is just that much bigger. It's actually 15000 plus the eleven. And you can see in the third column, this is the dis, uh, detrimental effect. And we made the revenue negative because that's how it affects income. It decreases income. Uh, variable costs go away, but that actually increases it because we've lost a cost. And the net effect is a loss of 15000 15, And here's a, an example exercise. This is product K, and they've got revenue of 65000 uh, variable cost of goods sold of 50 and variable selling expenses of 12. Okay, and they've also got fixed costs of 25. So here's your variable, here's our sales, and those variable costs and selling costs gives us a variable selling gives us a contribution margin of $3,000. Then if we've got a fixed cost of minus 25, that gives us operating income of $22,000. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, an operating loss of 22000 So the question is, should we get rid of this? Um, and they tell us, yeah, they say, assuming that fixed costs are unaffected by the decision. That's the key right there. Okay, if the fixed costs are unaffected, what color should we make it? It's a good color. If the fixed costs are unaffected, then they're going to stay the same. So we're still going to lose the fixed cost. And we'll also lose the contribution margin of, of $3,000. And here's the analysis here. This is um, continuing it. We've got a loss of $22,000. Yeah, the loss of $22,000. Okay, and if we, if we get rid of it, 
I've, we have no revenue, no variable cost, but we still have $25 in fixed costs. So net, we're losing $3,000. And that $3,000 is the contribution margin that the product you know, brought to the, to the business. Okay, we've got one more here. I think I'm going to stop here and I'll do make or buy separately and we'll do a couple of those other problems first.